So what exactly is the crime here? Driving while American? So uh, a couple days ago, and I don't think all the details are out yet, but this kind of weird incident happened in Massachusetts. Um, my understanding is basically these guys were on the side of the highway um, refueling their vehicles and they were strapped up with like ARs and body armor and plates and camo and stuff. And the police pulled over to ask them what was going on because apparently that was needed. And uh, they like ran off into the woods and then there was this standoff that lasted a couple hours. And then eventually these guys were taken into custody and charged, which we're gonna get to in a minute. Uh, and you know, judging by the article, which is hard to judge by because it's a Newsweek article that I read and I'll post it in the description box below here. But these guys might be kind of semi-crazy. Um, maybe, maybe not. You know, it's, it's so hard to tell when you're quoting the Southern Poverty Law Center, which is, of course, a horrible leftist organization that you can't trust as far as you can throw them. So they might be a little bit out there. If you want more details, you can read the article. It honestly doesn't matter, and it's not important to the story. Uh, but just to say, hey, they might, they might be legitimately crazy, they might not, I don't know. It, it doesn't matter, as we're gonna get to. It turns out they were driving from Rhode Island to Maine to do some training, which the article, whenever it quotes, always puts in quotes like training. Like, yeah, that's what they were gonna go do is training, um, which I don't, you know, people with guns train with guns. I don't understand what the problem is. Anyway, so when it came to the list of crimes that they were actually charged with, I'd like to read them to you. The suspects have been charged with conspiracy to commit a crime. What crime is what I would like to know. Two, unlawful possession of guns and ammunition. See, it's Massachusetts, and they have certain laws about what guns you are and aren't allowed to own. Use of body armor in a crime, because they were wearing body armor when they were caught with these guns that they're not supposed to have. Possession of a high capacity magazine and improper storage of firearms in a vehicle. So my point here is that they were arrested and charged with crimes that aren't really crimes. Uh, yes, I understand that technically the state of Massachusetts has passed laws to criminalize those things and they're a crime in the state of Massachusetts. I get that. However, I would argue all of those laws are illegal. Those laws violate the constitution, which is the highest law in the land. You cannot restrict someone on how many rounds they're allowed to carry in their gun. You cannot restrict someone on the types of guns they're allowed to own or not own. And as far as improper firearms storage in a vehicle, I don't, I don't, what does that even mean? It means that it wasn't locked up properly or whatever. These are made up laws and made up crimes that have caused a problem. If you think about this, these guys were hurting no one. They ended up hurting no one actually. And they were simply on the road. They were refueling their own vehicles because they didn't want to stop at a gas station, which is like, come on guys, just blend in a little bit here, okay? But that aside, they, did, they didn't actually do anything wrong. They were on the side of the road putting gas in a vehicle. That's a thousand percent legal last I knew, unless you're in New Jersey or Oregon. Uh, and so they're putting gas in their vehicle. The cops pull over. And, and because of these made up laws, it caused a situation. If these laws hadn't existed, which are garbage illegal laws to begin with, there would be no crime. But this is a fantastic example of what, how bad laws cause problems and put everybody's lives in danger, right? Because you have these bad laws, these illegal wrong laws, they created a situation. The cop has to stop now and enforce said bullshit laws, has to. It created a situation. So now the cop stops to enforce these garbage laws, which he shouldn't be doing anyway. And the people now who are just literally standing on the side of the road, putting gas in their vehicle are in trouble because they have ARs, because they're wearing plates. And now you create an entire standoff that lasts a couple hours, which ratchets up tension, puts everybody, like I said, in more danger. And then eventually it gets calmed down and now they're gonna get charged with crimes that aren't actual crimes. Owning a gun, or a magazine is not a crime. Again, I understand certain pay places pass laws to actually criminalize it and whatever. However, those are illegal and it's not a crime. And this is a fantastic example of what will happen on a much larger, much more dangerous scale 
if these kinds of illegal wrong laws get passed. You're going to have more danger. You're going to have more gun violence. You're going to have more injuries. You are going to create problems that aren't problems. You're going to come in like a really bad manager. You're going to destroy everything and then you're going to leave and be like, well, I don't know what this is why we needed to make these laws to begin with. You created the problem. So this is just your daily reminder that gun control laws in particular are stupid and bad laws in general create problems. This is a good example again of why we need to be active and fight these bad laws before it gets really bad. Do brave deeds and endure.